journey ends here. So, you're probably someone like me, someone who's been playing the Destiny franchise for quite a while, or maybe started the game uh, with Destiny 2, and, you know, watching the reveal, like, you know, the, the reveal live stream of, the, uh, of Destiny 2 to uh, get the footage I needed for this video, huh. It, it, it kind of brought me back a little bit because I've been playing Destiny since Destiny 1 Beta. And I played the game throughout its problems. You know, I played during vanilla. I played the hell out of vanilla somehow, uh, despite its lack of content. And, uh, and yeah, and I made my way all the way to Destiny 2. Uh, and, you know, I was pretty happy with my experience with Destiny 1. And, you know, I was excited for Destiny 2, the, the you know, uh, Bungie had hyped up the game immensely, and I thought, you know, we were getting a far superior experience uh, than Destiny 1 vanilla, and who knows, maybe even all of Destiny 1. But that just simply wasn't the case. Uh, what we got in Destiny 2 was something I would say was even worse than Destiny 1 vanilla, and some people might disagree with me and that's completely fine and the reason why I say it was worse than Destiny 1 Vanilla was because there were so many things that they had taken out from the game you know things like uh, random rolls on both weapons and armor they took out uh, uh, heavy machine guns which was my personal favorite uh, heavy uh, heavy weapon slot or I'm sorry heavy weapon type they uh, they reworked the weapon system, the weapon slot system, and it was it just was not that good. Shotguns and uh, sniper rifles were now heavy amp, uh, were now heavy weapons, and it just overall turned the game into just something that felt lackluster compared to its predecessor. And you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of fans of the series were curious, like, how did we come to this point? How did we come to this point where? Uh, you know, the, the the sequel to the game was a far inferior product than the uh, than the, the the first game, and I, you know, I, I stuck with the game throughout until the first expansion had arrived, and that was Curse of Osiris. Been a development on Mercury. X activity there surged exponentially. And at the same time, the most notorious guardian in Vanguard history has returned, Osiris. Go to Mercury and find Osiris. Seconds remaining. What? What? Delightful! This is wonderful! So, with the release of Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris, it was definitely something exciting. Uh, I'd be lying to you guys if I said I wasn't excited. I mean, at this point in time, I wasn't really sure uh, that we would be getting complete deja vu when it comes to Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 in terms of content launch and how each expansion compares with its, I guess, predecessor of Destiny 1, um, being, you know, Dark Below relatable to the Curse of Osiris, uh, House of Wolves relatable to the Warmind, and also uh, Forsaken being relatable to uh, the Taken King in the sense that it went from shitty to semi-shitty and then we got the expansion that fixed everything. But Curse of Osiris was... 
you know, I enjoyed it at first because, you know, it, it's, an, it's new content and stuff like that, but as time went on, you know, one of my biggest problems with the game was Mercury and how small it was. It, it didn't see, it wasn't fun whatsoever to go there and the fact that we only had one last sector and only one public event and, you know, and what that meant was if you ever had the, uh, the milestone for, uh, for Mercury, <laughs> you're shit out of fucking luck. You better, you're gonna be sitting down waiting for the public event to happen because there's only one public event, so uh, it only happens every so often. But, um, and then also we got the Infinite Forest, and the Infinite Forest was just playing out shit. It was the most fucking headache inducing thing I had ever played in Destiny ever. Uh, it was very repetitive, it was annoying, it was not interesting whatsoever. I mean, they could have done something really cool with it. They could have given it like some super awesome roguelike elements, you know, similar to uh, similar to uh, the Legend of Zelda franchise, but they didn't. They completely blew what almost was something absolutely amazing. And yeah, and that and that's pretty much what Curse of Osiris was. The story was not that good. The amount of content that we got was not that good either. Um, Every, you know, Mercury wasn't good at all. Infinite Forest was not good at all. Nothing about that expansion except for, I guess, the loot that we got was any any at all. It was all pretty crap. And uh, the Warmind definitely fixed a lot of things. Um, uh, Mars for uh, the Warmind was uh, very... I really liked uh, Mars. It was super awesome to return back to Mars. Now, it was... I'm really glad that they didn't decide to recycle uh, Mars from Destiny 1. They decided to make it a completely new area. And also this was uh, Bungie's first time working with uh, a new studio. If I'm not mistaken, it was High Moon. If it, if it wasn't High Moon Studios, I'll definitely uh, have that fixed in the description below. But uh, but yeah, this was the first time that they, uh, they had some help with the game. And because of that, they were able to do a lot of new things. And... Overall, I think it I think it paid off, you know, uh, it definitely did a lot of things, you know, new and different, and I really liked it. I actually really enjoyed the story. It wasn't too bad, especially coming off of Curse of Osiris, uh, but it was really short, which was really unfortunate. Uh, we got Escalation Protocol, which was a really awesome uh, event, you know, new event, new kind of thing to do while you're out in Mars, and then we also got a uh, new NPC, Anna Bray, or, or as some people like to call her, Anna Bay. And overall, I would say it was a solid expansion. It could have definitely been more, but just like House of Wolves, its predecessor, it was okay, but it wasn't you know, anything too spectacular. And then uh, history repeats itself where, you know, the pr you know, I, me personally, I didn't play the game for more than like I think I played for about a week I finished the story relatively easily and I started farming for some of the new gear and that was pretty much <laughs> that was pretty much it um yeah so I return of course I returned to the game during Forsaken uh and I played for I'd say about a week and a half maybe before I end up putting the game down again you know Forsaken was the Taken King expansion it was supposed to introduce all the new features all you know all the new stuff all the big new stuff and and whatnot and it was supposed to fix the game and sure enough that's exactly what Forsaken did it gave us a very compelling story in which we lost one of our beloved characters in the game uh, Kate Kate six and uh, his death is still felt to me today because Kate was, you know, a character that was the most relatable. He was funny. He was uh, voiced by a very popular voice actor in the video game industry, Nathan Fillion. And uh, yeah, and he was just all of a sudden gone and he definitely went out with a bang and it definitely made Forsaken a lot more interesting and I kind of, I really like the, the route that they took with uh, Forsaken because now Forsaken feels more dark, gritty, like a, a crime time drama, is that how you would reference that? Uh, yeah, but even, I'll, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but even Forsaken, you know, like I said, I only put in about a week and a half before I put down the game again because the problems you know, I was just so deterred from, and I was so just bummed out from, you know, being lied to, being betrayed by Bungie once again, 
uh, with Curse of Osiris and Warmind not capturing the interest and not bringing me back to this franchise that I love so much. You know, I've been playing Destiny since the Destiny 1 beta, and I've been playing it straight through, man. I have I played uh, Destiny 1 from beginning to end nonstop, pretty much. You know, it was... I've become an adult, you know, I've graduated high school, you know, while playing this game. I've went to college and graduated college while playing this game, uh, if you get my drift. So, for to be betrayed once again by uh, Bungie, it just, I don't know, it was just very, it was very unfortunate and it kind of bummed me out, but with the release of Black Armory, uh, I know Black Armory isn't that good, but for some reason it did, it made me come back to the game. Maybe it was the fact that they added in heavy machine guns, which were my favorite uh, heavy heavy weapon, you know, type. Or maybe it was just it was just time for me to come back and play the game, you know, enjoy all the new content that I miss. Hell, I still haven't even touched one of the fucking raids yet, and maybe that's something I'll have to do, and you know, maybe update this video and give you guys. Uh, you know my thoughts and opinions about it. I have yet to play a raid in destiny, so uh, it's definitely something that Maybe I need to make a video on you know do for myself and kind of give you guys my experience as someone who hasn't played any of the raids Usually I just play strikes PvP and whatever else that's there But to basically summarize uh, this video my my return to Destiny 2 has been very enjoyable, actually, you know, being able to actually jump onto the game every day, pretty much, and have something to do, whether it be uh, leveling up and gearing up my uh, my main character or my alt characters. It's it's actually been really fun, and I've really enjoyed my time with my, uh, my new clan and, you know, talking with everyone, and hopefully one day I will be able to get everyone, uh, get some people, and play my first raid because that's something I still like I said I still have yet to do but um, yeah Destiny 2 has been a roller coaster and it's been deja vu just like Destiny 1 a giant roller coaster that has left uh, a lot of us disappointed ultimately and some of us coming back to the game and who knows maybe Destiny 3 will be another deja vu and uh, maybe we'll finally learn our lessons this time and put down the game but truth be told i i don't think that's the case uh but yeah guys thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and like always my name is HGT and uh thank you so much for watching these um thank you to everyone who stuck with me through the new direction of my youtube channel i'm still getting my bearings in terms of making these more well edited and more uh scripted videos um they definitely take a lot of out of me in terms of recording everything and uh, kind of speaking my mind this video in particular was uh, me kind of freestyling my commentary instead of uh, having a script laid out for me and speaking but uh, I am working on a script for a video for Resident Evil 2 so stay tuned for that and I I actually have a little notebook right beside me uh, to kind of uh, demonstrate uh, and to brainstorm uh, some of my ideas but uh, update video will be coming very shortly on kind of like my brainstorming ideas but uh, once again thank you all so much for watching and thank you everyone who's been supporting me you guys have been an absolute absolute blessing and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye bye i think it's time to blow this thing get everybody in the stuff together okay three two one let's jam <laughs>